Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranagha, West Bengal, India. This is a totally unedited real-time surgery. After thorough cleaning of the ocular surface, the main incision is placed in this case at around 11 o'clock. We can see that this is a white cataract. The cataract is not very hard. Nuclear sclerosis grade 3 or so. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. Now, in white cataracts, to get more contrast, tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule underneath an air bubble. The air bubble helps in quick staining of the anterior capsule. This is adrenaline and then the tripan blue dye is washed out using a 23 gauss Simcoe and BSS. And then the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Ocular surface is covered with SPMC, visibility becomes better. And now I am using a uterata forceps to do capsulorexis. Capsular tag is raised by the tip of the iterator. The tag is guided anticlockwise and uh, optimum an optimum sized rexis of about 5.25 millimeter is obtained. Hydro dissection is done. The nucleus is tapped. The nucleus is rotated. And now, in this case, I am going to. Uh, do the divide and concoy technique. I'm going to apply the divide and concoy technique of fecal emulsification. In this case, the sculpting is done with low vacuum and the ultrasonic energy is according to the hardness of this uh, according to the hardness of the nucleus. In this case, ultrasonic power was 65 percent, flow rate was 20 and vacuum or 60 millimeter of mercury. Now, sculpting is done for that the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up and now here goes the sculpting. The ultrasonic energy is applied while going forward. This is the first sculpt. Then second, going to the anterior end, the lower end of the trench, the ultrasonic energy and vacuum is turned off, only irrigation remains on and we come back to again start with aspiration and ultrasonic energy. The trench is made and now at 90 degree this is another trench. After going to a certain depth, when we think that it will crack now, we apply opposite forces like this and crack the nucleus. In this case, I held the thick part of this nucleus and chopped it. At this time, I am in higher vacuum. The vacuum is 350 and flow rate is 35. Ultrasonic energy is 60 percent. So, we always hold the thick part of the nucleus, pull it little towards the center, chop it into smaller pieces and start emulsifying. In this way, the nucleus is managed. Yes, the nucleus has been managed and now cortical cleanup is to be done. Some amount of visco is injected into the anterior chamber. This will help in maintaining the anterior chamber depth. And now I use a 23 gauze Simco for cortical cleanup. This is surgeon's choice. You can use a quick shell IA, you can use bimanual irrigation aspiration. I use Simco because it is faster, it is 
ready with a different drip set and different bottle and by the time the by manual gets ready lot of work is done so most of the cortex has been removed and this is removal of the sub incisional cortex so cortical clean up has been done and now intraocular lens is to be implanted in the capsula bag this is hydro polish in this case, I am going to use a B cartridge, so I need to enlarge the main wound a bit, just one cut. The B cartridge does not cause compression of the optic. So, in intraocular lenses where the diopteric power is high, say about 25 or more, it is better to use a B cartridge. You can see nice overlap of the optic of the intraocular lens all around by the anterior capsular rim. So, the size of the rexis is ideal about 5.25 to 5.5 millimeter in this case. Moxifloxacin has been applied. Now, the side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma. And now a final lavage of the anterior chamber. This is very important. If we do this, the incidences of TAS will be unknown in your practice. Let pure BSS be there at the conclusion of the surgery. And check the integrity of the wounds. No leakage should be there. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.